Oh, we got a different setup today. Kitchen table in the old office Kitchen routine. Kitchen table. <laughs> All right, you guys, so today's video is gonna be something definitely different. I don't know if I've talked about it on my channel yet, but I've talked about it on stories, how I wanna do, not necessarily podcasts, but I wanna have podcasty type videos where it's- You wanna do podcasts, you just don't wanna admit it. Why are you afraid to admit you wanna No, podcast? I'm not afraid to admit it, I just don't know if it'll be on the podcast app. Is that what it required to be a podcast? It has to go on an app? People have to be able to listen to the audio. Does anyone it's, listen to actual audio podcasts or is that- I do. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was only That's video. That's what a podcast is. I'm a video podcast <laughs> kind of guy. But anyway, so I was talking about it on IG stories and a lot of people said, yes, do it. So this is kind of, this is like trial run. But today's video or today's conversation is gonna be about how John and I, we, we were on keto for like a year and a half. Was it that long? You were a little Maybe bit longer than me, I think. We started literally last April, the end of April. And then to my demise. Here we now. are, <laughs> here we are. So I guess we're just gonna be talking about how things changed, why we ended up quitting. Should we call it quitting? It sounds so negative when we say quitting. Adjusting, readjusting our lifestyle. I like to say starting a new lifestyle started, instead of quitting an old one. Why life. we started yeah. something else. Yeah. <laughs> and today's video is also very exciting because it is sponsored by Gymshark. Hey yo! Hey! Uh, as you guys know, I love Gymshark. I've included them in several hauls, favorites. I love their leggings, I love their tops. You guys know what some of my favorite, favorite products are. And they're having a huge, giant sale. So they only have two sales a year. Up to 70% off. Up to 70% off. Um, I'm gonna do a try on haul, show you guys some of the items that are gonna be featured in the sale. So you can kind of take a peek, see what you wanna grab. So the sale starts November 25th, 7 p.m. GMT. Where is GMT? Greenwich Mean Time. Is it really? Yep, 100%, scientific fact. I got I hate that I don't know if he's making this up. It's true. But I really, I just love their products a lot. They're affordable. They're just a really good value. It's always nice to re-up and get like a fresh set of gym yeah. stuff, you know? I like yeah, to treat really myself is. to gym clothes oh, every you, once in a while. You treat yourself to gym clothes? If you go hard in the gym, it's it's okay to, you know, splurge a little bit. Right. Now they're on sale, get you some Gymshark. Yeah, so go check it out. Everything's gonna be linked in the description box, but here are some of my favorite pieces that are gonna be in the sale. Um, so that way you guys can check it out and see what you're gonna pick up. First up, we've got the Flex high-waisted leggings with the matching sports bra. This is an all black set and it has the matching Gymshark logos on the back bands, which I think is really cute. And you know my style, I like to throw on a baggy tank. Super cute, goes with the set really well. And I like how it has the tie on the side. This next set is definitely one of my favorites. This is the Vital Seamless set, the high-waisted leggings and matching sports bra in the color khaki. They have this set in a bunch of different colors. It's so comfortable, it's soft, it's stretchy. It holds you in, really comfortable to work out in. And I also threw the nude tank top on top of this one. I thought it looked really nice with this set. And lastly, I've got the Energy Seamless Leggings. These are the cropped leggings in blue with the matching top. I really love this color. It's such a bright, fun color, but they do have this set in a lot of different shades, which I love. And then I threw one of my favorite tanks on top. I wear this top all the time. Super comfortable. I tie it in a knot in the back and I go a size up. So I get a medium in the tank, so that way it's kind of baggy and oversized. And then I also wanted to show you guys the other tank. This is the same one as the nude one, but um, just a dark gray color. And I thought it looked really cute with the black set also. All right, so I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long. You drive, my friend. I'm you just want me to for drive. I'm just having my coffee and I'm gonna <laughs> eat whatever you need from me. So, all right, so we started last April on keto and both of us were just in this place where we just, I, I think we just weren't happy. We were kind of like doing this thing where we were trying to out exercise how we were eating and we were slowly, slowly putting on weight. Like for me, I just, I wasn't comfortable and I felt like I needed to make a change. I just didn't really know what it was. I hit rock ourselves. bottom personally. That's John said did. he hit rock bottom. <laughs> I think the reason why there was no photos of me before was because I wasn't confident about what I, the way I looked. Full disclosure, keeping it 100 with everyone here. <laughs> Can we talk about, I don't know if we're at this point, in, I mean, you're driving. I am driving, yeah. I'm just saying, uh, I think if you are to do keto, it's helpful to have your spouse do yeah. it with you. Or I don't, people in your household, I could see it. We, we needed to do it together, I think. Yeah. At least in the beginning. After you're like in the rhythm, I think it's okay to be on your own. But yeah, strength in numbers, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. So we were both kind of in a place and we were going to Tokyo and we decided like we were gonna kind of have this like do whatever we want in Tokyo and then we we're gonna come back home. We're gonna eat all the dumplings we could find in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. One last hoorah. Yeah, so we were gonna do that and I remember there was a photo that I posted while we were out there and it really, it was like a dagger for some, a dagger, I don't know where I'm putting it, but. In your aorta? Yeah. <laughs> the heart's over there, I think. Heart's over here. Yeah. 
But I posted this picture and it was like, I was already in this place. Like I wasn't feeling it, you know? And then I posted a picture. I was so excited about it because a guy on the street, I was taking pictures, John was taking my photos. And this guy came up to me, he had this dog that literally looked like a huge wolf. Like yeah. it was gigantic. And he handed me the leash and was like, take pictures with yeah. my dog. And I just thought it was the cutest thing. Anyway, I posted pictures from that. And I had so many comments telling me I looked pregnant. Are you pregnant? Which we all know what that means. A lot of people try and say like, oh. I'm You're just... saying no one's really curious. Nobody's really, we know what that comment really means. And it was so like, I was sitting with you, Desi and Steven, and I was just like, I was trying to delete them because I don't need to see that, you know? And they were coming in so fast that it was like, I was just like this. So you I ended up- You thought you were pregnant. I did, I was <laughs> like, shit, am I? <laughs> I remember I had to go in and block, you know how you can go into Instagram and like block? block the word pregnant. Yeah. Wow. So I haven't seen if I'm sure people have left it since then, but I haven't seen it, which has actually been really great for me. <laughs> but people even started, I think they started to see that the word wasn't popping up. So I no. had to do all different forms the like emojis? prego. A little Preggy, baby emoji? Every single emoji, like. <sighs> wow. That was your rock bottom, huh? I had already decided what I was gonna do, but then I think that was just like, you know what? Screw them. I'm gonna like do it. You wanted a revenge body. I, it was a revenge body I moment. I like that. It was a revenge body moment. Okay, so ultimately, why do you think you stopped doing it? Uh, I I think we all hit a, we hit a wall around our birthdays in November 2018. The sugar cravings got really intense. Really, yeah, really intense cravings. Yeah. Holidays is tricky. And then a little bit of boredom. I think you get a little bit bored after a while. Mm -hmm. I will say it's the longest diet in my, in my life I've ever stuck to. Yeah. Also, I lost the most weight on it, personally. Yeah. It's at, at a certain point, you're just like, damn, I want, I don't, is this life? Do I have to always be health conscious about, you know what I mean? Can yeah. I just pig out for once? I think there's something really interesting to think about because it's kind of like, oh, well, you're not still doing it, so did you fail? Like, do you, are you a failure now because you couldn't stick to it for that long? But I think it's important to realize that not everything is going to work for you all the time. Like you're gonna go through different phases in your life where maybe something works really well and then maybe you get to a point where that just doesn't work anymore so you kind of have to like pivot and just change directions. Yeah, I mean, if I put all the weight back on, I would consider that a failure. You would consider that a failure. Personally, I would consider that a failure. <laughs> but I feel like we're doing all right. I think we're, yeah. things are good. But I started doing a lot of the keto baked goods and just like any type of diet, you can't, there's no such thing as like there's freebies. There's no free meals. Yeah, yeah, just because it didn't have sugar in it doesn't mean I could eat a half a cheesecake all the time. As much as I want there to be. Right. If you guys know of one. The thing with keto is when you overeat, if you're not overeating veggies, you're overeating a lot of fat, which yeah. the calories add up really, really quickly. But I will say on top of that is keto started getting really widely popular and so brands were coming out with like keto processed foods basically, yeah. which I think like taking a step back, I kind of had, I did it like three times. The whole point of doing this is really cutting out processed foods. I think that's kind of how it started where it was like eating whole foods, less processed foods, no refined sugars. But it's crazy because you feel like, oh, this is keto, like I'm gonna get it, you know, the sugar-free cereal. It was really easy for me to be way over calories and just slowly put on weight. Yeah. At that time, at the beginning of this year, my goal was definitely more to like lean out and build muscle. I think it, sugar got the best of me. Hey, you're human. I am human. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you bleed. But I think I just reached a point where I was like, you know what? I learned so much on keto. I feel like I was able to make really good decisions not being on it anymore. And I really learned reading labels. Oh, me too. You learn how much added sugar is in stuff. Like I definitely don't regret being on keto at all. I think I learned a lot. I learned a lot about nutrition as well. Yeah. I still don't know everything there is to know, but I used to think that like things marked as healthy were healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, like even cereal, if it had like a little green sticker on it as being healthy or whatever, yeah. or like green, I'd be like, oh, perfect. I'm like doing whole, better for myself. Whole grain cereal. Well, yeah, I don't know what the hell that means. I have a couple things here to kind of be like cravings, keto versus not. This is like a keto versus not keto. Talk about it. All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about is cravings. On keto, I got really intense sugar cravings. Like at 10 o'clock every night, Desi would know. I would start sending her all these dessert DMs. Oh yeah, I remember you It said was like that. a thing, you guys. Yeah. Like, I was just- You bookmarked so many fucking places. I did too. bookmark a lot of dessert places. It was like a weird dessert alternate universe that I was kind of living in. I didn't get that. You're so lucky that you didn't get that, huh? No, I wasn't bookmarking dessert places. <laughs> Okay, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I take you off script or is that okay? Yeah, you can take me off script. Do you feel like you're in a better place now 
not being on keto than when you were on keto? Are, like, are you in a happier... Physically or mentally? No, just, I mean, okay, so for me, I'll give you, can I give you my answer and then yeah. you tell me what you feel? I'm lost. I'm a lost human being right now. Not, I'm dietless. You know what I mean? I could be uh, 15 pounds overweight real quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> One weekend away from a bad decision. <laughs> I'm a lost boy trying to figure out what to do. I go back and forth between keto and not keto still. Can I say something but no shade? Sure. Intended? Sure. I think every single Monday, John says, I'm going back to keto. Yeah, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm human. I bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I liked keto because it had boundaries. Yeah. It was very distinct lines I of like- I think you still feel really guilty eating potatoes and rice and stuff. I do. I think it's definitely, I've gotten over that yeah. somehow. I think my problem is, bread. is I swell a little because you retain more water. Yeah. Which keto, I think you lose a lot of water weight. Mm -hmm. I feel bigger. I'm like, oh God, my shirts aren't as fitting and the same as, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I'm still back and forth on keto or not yeah. keto, you know? So now I'm gonna take it back to you. Do you feel like you're in a better place now? I think I am. I'm in a different place. That's the important part. Oh I think it's important to realize, this is something that I've learned working with Adi. She is like an online coach. I've talked to you guys about her several times. She has a lot of really great informative podcasts about managing your own expectations and also adjusting your goals. So I think for me, my goal always was like lean out. Mm -hmm. It was like, if I wasn't leaning out, what am I doing? You yeah. know what I mean? I think I've finally reached a point where I don't feel that way anymore. Like I've realized, October, November, and December, it starts with Halloween. There's just a lot of events around Halloween. It and then it's colder. It gets colder. Our birthdays are a week apart. And then Thanksgiving is coming up right after that. There's just like a lot going on in that time frame. So I don't put the pressure on myself to try and lose weight. And I think that has been like crucial in my mental space. You're too. an endurance runner is what you're saying. Yes. You're going for the long haul. Yeah, so maybe I'm not losing really quickly or you know, people tell me like, why am I not skinnier? Why am I not leaner? Why do I still look like this? I think for me, like where I am mentally is in such a better place. I'm gonna go into now working out keto versus not keto. Love it. I Once I kind of adjusted and I got used to not having carbs, I felt fine working out. I didn't really notice any difference in like stamina or anything like that. Oh really? Yeah. I do feel like I die after the gym now though. Is that something that you feel now too? Yeah, I uh, I definitely have to power up now more with food. But once I really started eating carbs again in the morning, I felt like a beast in the gym. Like I felt like it happened like overnight. Same, I would say same. But I wouldn't say that I was bad on keto. I just don't, it's like you don't really get the same like gains or muscle like pump. I think we already touched on overeating on keto versus not, right? I mean, I overeat now sometimes. Oh, I overeat too. I mean, that's uh, my, like, I wish I was one of those people they could take a little bite of something and they're like, same, oh, I'm dude, good. Same. I'm good. Like, that's good. I'm done. You know, I just want but a taste of it. No. Hold we, the whole, I feel bad for the food. If it's on my <laughs> plate, it's getting dusted. I'll eat the plate if I have to. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know that I was overeating until I started tracking my food. Oh, so maybe we should crazy. say this. Uh, Katie tracks her everything you eat. I do not. John does not participate in that. I feel like I've given up so much. I just can't track, you know? I don't know. Is that fucking lazy of me? Am I a piece no, of shit? No, not at all. Not at all. Sometimes if I'm like trying to lean out, though, I'm like, oh, if I just eat what Katie eats, it should naturally be in a deficit. He sometimes eats this exact same amount of food that I eat. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> you can eat more. It's okay. I have, I, mean, I have a terrible relationship with food. I don't want to over, you know, I'm scared. I'm terrified. Why are you scared? I don't want to fucking put it all back on, you know? Oh, that's my fear. You know, sometimes if you look in the mirror and you're like, whoa. <laughs> but it's really just the angle of which you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you, like if you look like this in the mirror, it's like that, no one looks good like that. That's Stop. not how you look at you're yourself. You're looking back at it in the mirror? Well, no, you're trying something on, say you're at Nordstrom's and you're trying something on the fitting room and you're just like, ah, oh, does your jeans fit? And then you catch yourself, maybe your stomach's in a certain position. And you should never judge yourself in a fitting room. I, I do, but you do. There's no way around it. You catch yourself looking at it, and then you go, wow, dude, where are we here? This is where we're at. <laughs> and then, you know, the internet's never a fun place to be where they yeah. remind you of just like, you know, what's going on in Can life. Can we stop doing that? You guys, it burns when people come for you. I don't think there's anything I could hear now that I haven't heard before, so. I don't that's, challenge them. That's don't the one thing that's working there, for dude. me. People, these kids are smart. So yeah. you're gonna be tracking forever? I don't know. I think once I figure out a rhythm, which I think maybe in the next year, I'll actually like find like a rhythm, you know, yeah. with eating and everything. Cause I already feel like I'm in such a different place right now than I was in January. So I know you kind of talk about you would, you want to go back to keto yeah. usually every Monday, which you didn't this Monday. I'm so shady, huh? 
Look like at your jaw. You're pulling a desi jar. <laughs> I don't know. Like for real, would you go back? If or I, if only I, if I went back? If I go up another 10 pounds, yeah. Yeah, you go back? There is a limit to life where it's like, yeah. In reality- I always tell him I don't I don't think he needs to do it at all. I think, I think you look great, first of all. I think I have deeper problems I need to look at than just the diet, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe it's emotional. A lot of it's probably mental. Uh-huh. So I don't know if that's a diet or whatever, you know? Yeah. I'll, fuck, I'll full disclosure, I'll keep it real. Keep it real, John. I'll keep it real with these people. I'm, yeah. I'm human, I bleed. Say what you need to say. I'm only like maybe five pounds heavier than I was when at my leanest with keto. I'm not that much heavier. Yeah. But I've also, I think I put on a lot of muscle. Major gains. Yeah, I'm kind of strong as hell right now, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. If, if I'm like, you know, go up an extra 20 pounds or, you know, if I go back to where I was, I'm back, baby. Yeah. I'm out. I don't care, you know? I need strict rules because I'm not very good at putting boundaries on myself, personally. That's just my relationship. I think that's what made keto work for us for so long. Yeah, it's just like you avoid very... the carbs, you avoid sugars, boom. That's what it is. This is what you eat. You can have fun with sauces. You can have yeah. fun with certain things, which worked. But it's definitely not, obviously, it's not the only thing that works. It's such strict boundaries that... Yeah. It makes it easier. I needed that. I can't do like, oh, you just eat eight ounces of rice and a little bit of plain chicken. Eight like, ounces of rice, my goodness. I don't know, <laughs> shit. It's a lot. It's a lot of rice. Uh, you eat eight pounds of rice. Eight pounds of rice. <laughs> Eight cups of rice, like, I don't know, maybe that. I know the other diets I know of is like, you eat ground turkey and then you eat like lean chicken. And like lean, 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 yeah. lean, lean, lean. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's so boring and I hate that's it. That's hard. Eating lean is harder than eating keto for sure. Oh yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> it's absolutely the worst. <laughs> the worst. I thought that was the only way to lose weight. I lost the most weight on keto. I'm pretty happy with my results personally. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I would like to go back. I'm just, I'm in a place right now where I'm, I'm, I haven't hit rock bottom yet. Again, you know, I'm sure I will at some point. <laughs> I think about when would this have worked really well for me? And I was thinking about when I worked at Target. Like I could see this being so beneficial to me when I was working at Target. So you're on your feet pretty much all day long, really long shifts. Like when we were opening the new store, it was like, how long were we there for? Like we worked really, really long shifts. I didn't work there. How long was I there? I, I wasn't there. <laughs> you weren't there. Cause when I was there, I would eat, I would like, you know, shop out of the grocery section for my lunch or whatever. And I would buy like a pack of goldfish. You'd buy it. Yes, I would buy it. You wouldn't five finger it? No. <laughs> Box of goldfish down the hatch. Yeah. And like one of those Chobani flips. You know Ooh, what I mean? Yeah. You remember those? Mm -hmm. If you're like really busy on the go all the time, I could see it being super beneficial, not crashing, not being able to kind of like manage when your next meal is. From what I remember, I was able to go longer period, like more hours in between yeah. meals. Like I wasn't really that hungry. Yeah. It is true that you stay fuller longer when you're like really, really in it. Yeah. And now it's like, all right. I know I'm gonna have to eat in like an hour. Or I'm I'll be gonna die. eating and thinking about where, where we're gonna eat for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I remember when I was working at Target, all I could think about was wow, if I ever worked from home, I would be eating the most dialed in, healthy food all the time. I would never be, you know, eating a box of goldfish for lunch for it's sure. It's just hard I, no matter what yeah, your lifestyle is. It's hard is. no matter what, especially if you have sugar addictions like we do, I think. We're not alone. We are, we're human. Yeah. We bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Who else bleeds? They bleed. You guys bleed? Some of you. Drop a comment below if you bleed. Drop, drop, <laughs> drop a red dot. Drop a red dot. <laughs> so that's something that I realized. I'm like, you know what? Maybe keto is not the best for me now anymore, but maybe one day in the future, it'll be good for me again, you know? Did you experience any of the mental benefits of it? That, that Like, I know that was part of the hype, right? Right. For me, the mental, I'm like trying to think, was I like mentally clear? Like I could just focus so well. I will say not dealing with sugar really helped to like make me feel controlled. For like same. I just felt more in control yeah. of myself. And I don't know if that even makes sense, but. I feel dumber when I have sugar. Yes. We fall asleep and then we have hot flashes. Yeah, or get angry or yeah. whatever, yeah, for sure. We literally fall asleep. It was just not having to deal with the effects of crashing, I think made me, maybe that's the mental clarity. Yeah. Where you're not kind of like dozing. I think that's it for our first conversation type video. I I've like learned it. a lot about myself personally. <laughs> I've learned that. Is this I like know. a little therapy moment? A little bit, yeah. Maybe that's, it's good for us and them. Yeah, this is kind of the, this is the first time that we've obviously sat down in front of a camera and had like a real life conversation, I guess. All right, you guys, um, if you have any specific top, I mean, just let us know what you thought in the comments, you know, how you felt about this video. Have you, are you guys doing keto or not doing keto? Yeah, are you guys, I know a lot of people started keto with us. So like, where are you guys at now? How do you feel? Leave that in the comments and uh, we'll be in there chatting it up when we post this. So pull up.
pull up. And also don't forget to check the description box. Gymshark is having their sale November 25th. A lot of stuff on sale, a lot of good stuff. Go check it out. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.